In this Fast Markets tutorial, you will learn how to use the market pages to quickly access pricing. After you log in, click All Markets on the left side navigation bar. Market pages are grouped into Core Market Pages, End Use Markets, Exchange and FX Market Data, and Specialised Commodities sections. Some menu options may be greyed out and unavailable to you as market pages are determined by your level of access. The core market pages mirror the price package you subscribe to, whether that's base metals, industrial minerals, minor metals, ores and alloys, steel, scrap, or steel raw materials. If you are a subscriber of one of these packages, you can be confident you will find all the prices you have access to in one place. These core market pages won't change in their structure, so you'll always know where to find what you're looking for. The end use market pages can include price data and analysis from across several core markets. For example, the aerospace and defence market page includes steel and copper, two key raw materials in the production of aircraft. Please note, you will need access to all price packages or news to access content contained in the market pages, particularly for some end use markets where the content may require one or more price packages. Exchange and FX market data provides key data from the London Metal Exchange, Chicago Mercantile Exchange and Shanghai Futures Exchange, as well as live streaming FX and precious metals pricing. The specialised commodities market pages offer a more focused view of key markets such as battery raw materials. For this tutorial, I will select core market pages, then steel, prices and news. You will see that our market pages consist of pre-configured widgets hand-selected by our price reporting team to help you build out your dashboard. To quickly access the market page in the future, you can pin it to your left-hand navigation bar by hovering over the name and clicking the pin icon. You can also add it to your other workspaces. Just hit the Add to Workspaces button and you'll see a new workspace appear in the top left corner of your dashboard. Now that you've made the market page a workspace, you can customise it to suit your needs. You can move the widgets around by clicking and dragging them to a new position in the workspace. You can resize the widget by clicking and dragging the edges of the widget out to the size that you'd like. You can edit a widget using the Widget Actions button. Select Edit Widget, View All and Remove or Add any prices. To remove, select the cross next to the price. To add, use the Search Assist tool to find a new price and select the Add button. Then hit Next and Confirm to solidify your changes. You can remove a widget by selecting the cross in the top right corner of the widget and clicking the Delete button. Or you can add a new widget. Just select the Add Widget button, choose the type of widget you'd like to add, hit Next and use the Search Assist tool to help you find the information you're looking for. When you're ready, click Next and Confirm to add your new widget to your workspace. Once you're happy with your workspace, you can export the data from any of your widgets using the Export button. Or simply use the workspace as a quick reference whenever you log into the dashboard. You can also download or subscribe to newsletters. This provides a PDF of the pricing and or news contained in the market page directly to your email inbox. Click the Newsletters menu in the top right. You may wish to view our newsletters video to find out more. We hope you've enjoyed this Fast Markets tutorial. For more information about the Fast Markets dashboard, visit our website to watch other videos or contact customer success today.